Hi, welcome back. In this session, let's talk about BHL engineer trainee. Yes, it is already written here. It's a golden chance for you. It is a golden chance. I'll tell you why it is a golden chance. Because the shortlisting number for the interview, there are two rounds. Basically, a written test. Then after written test, once who qualifies the written test, they will be called for the interview for the final selection. Okay, a written test plus interview will be there. You know, what is a qualifying mark for this, cutoff mark for this interview? It is as low as 50%. Yes, as low as 50% of the marks. That's what from the previous record, I'll show you the statistics as well. So that is why it is a golden opportunity that pays amazing salary. Okay. So by keeping this cutoff mark in your head, if you make a proper strategy, if you attack the exam with a proper strategy by keeping this in your head, then there are high chances for you to grab this golden chance. And another better part is the syllabus is Syllabus is not that big. Syllabus is not that big. Syllabus is simple syllabus. And moreover, if you see, moreover, if you see the exam pattern, see, all these are beneficial for you. Whatever I'm saying, all are, you know, gonna help. Everything is gonna help you. First one is the cutoff is low. Second one is syllabus is less. The third one is... 240 questions MCQs, it is a computer based test. They will give you on screen calculator also, and just 150 minutes of time. 150 minutes of time, 240 questions. Now you may say, Sir, how come this is a golden chance? This is a negative thing, it's not a positive thing. You might think like that, but no, it is an amazing positive thing. Why? Because the questions are of not that much deep. Out of these 240 questions, 120 questions, technical questions, your electrical engineering questions, 120 MCQs. So for those 120 MCQs, the time if you divide it, actually it is 75 minutes. So in 75 minutes, answering 120 questions means the question depth is not that great. That is why I'm saying this is a great opportunity for you. And cutoff is almost 50%. If you're a general candidate, it is 65% cutoff. Usually it goes up to that, not beyond that. Okay, out of uh, 240 marks, if you close to get 150 marks, you will call for you will get a call for an interview so you aim to get you should aim to get 170 marks you should aim to get 170 mark that's a strategy you should make 170 marks in 150 minutes of time of 170 marks what i recommend is 100 marks it is easy for you to score from your technical subjects. From your technical side, you can pretty much easily score 100 marks. And remaining 70 marks, you try to get it from non-tech. Non-tech means, again, here it is not quantitative aptitude. These 70 marks, so let's talk about remaining 120 marks. I think I'll give the exam pattern. Exam pattern, exam pattern, yes. Let's see the exam pattern, yes. Reasoning 50 marks. If it is a quant, it's gonna kill a lot of your time if you don't have a practice and all, but reasoning ability, most of the people are having it. If you have the reasoning ability, it is pretty much easy for you to get these 50 out of 50 marks. We'll upload all these previous year questions, everything in this course, everything in this course will be there. Previous year questions, everything will be there included here. You can check it out. Okay. And 
general knowledge it's okay if you know it okay you answer it otherwise it's okay because your aim is to get 170 marks here you are bagging 50 marks basic general knowledge if you know you may try to get 5 marks or so and in this general english you try to get 20 marks 20 marks means 50 percent here 50 percent here 100 percent here 80 percent here if you score this like this you will get 170 marks with no doubt 100 plus 70 with a decent preparation not so aggressive that this dancing bouncing no no need okay now let's see the cutoff marks cutoff marks if you see yes look at this look at this let's go for 2019 cutoff marks 2019 cutoff marks electrical yes this is electrical this is official information this information was there on BHL website right now we cannot find the removed from the website it was there okay so you will not now find it on their website okay this is the information I'm giving 240 marks see this 240 marks is exam you know exam is for 240 marks this is normalized to 100 marks that is it nothing much in percentage they have given here it's not that there are two exams or something okay there's just a percentage conversion so if you score 49 percent you'll get a call for an interview if you're a general candidate undeserved candidate 65 percent 65 percent if you score you will get a call for an interview the same trend is true even for 2023 also 2023 exam also okay same trend electrical engineering 240 marks out of 240 marks you have to score 145 marks same trend so what do you understand from this you should aim to get 170 marks for sure you will get a call for sure you will get a call and that's a strategy you should follow so for that syllabus is small this is syllabus man it's not a hefty and heavy and you know uh, big syllabus like any other exam syllabus is very simple these are the topics how many topics are there seven topics are there just seven topics are there of course eighth topic there are not much of questions from this eighth topic okay you don't have to much focus here you don't have to worry about this you focus on these seven subjects they are your core subjects they are your core subjects and these magnetic field don't worry about magnetic field oh my god magnetic field is that magnetic field is this emf subject is very tough and all no man you can easily score the marks in this exam if you follow because in this course of uh pi square course of electromagnetic field karthik sar has taught beautifully he's from iit kharagpur he has taught this electromagnetic fields course in amazing manner if you just follow that course once if you watch it i think you'll get a complete idea about electromagnetic field i'm pretty sure you'll be able to answer every question if you watch just once if you watch just once you will answer you'll be able to answer every question which is asked in this exam okay because that has taught in a beautiful structured way all right and signals and systems control systems and signals and systems Sri Hari sir has taught he is a scientist he himself is a scientist he has taught signals and systems for you so it is not tough to get, grab the marks from there that is also an amazing course okay and machines power systems we develop these machines and power systems with an amazing animations so that you will be easily able to understand the concept if you just watch it once nicely so this course will definitely help you if not this course any course which is available near to you any course which is available near to you just go to that course take it come on guys do not let this opportunity miss you amazing chance you got because cutoffs are low syllabus is less 
time factor is there it means because time is so less they will not give you tough questions and they will call interview for more candidates they will call you for interview there are high chances that you will clear the round you will clear the written test okay don't look at number of posts number of posts are less you will get a call for interview that's a good chance so what else you want what else you want syllabus is less syllabus very less syllabus easy to handle syllabus so i'm pretty sure this is gonna this exam 1000 rupees you are paying for application fees this will give a great change in your preparation style and all okay so i hope you will follow this strategy of gaining 170 marks out of 170 marks 100 marks from the technical you focus on rest of the 70 from the non technical okay and very easy this 100 marks getting here very easy because not so deep are questions okay see in the next video with more such interesting tips and we'll try to solve some previous year questions also don't worry we are there with you you try to focus on your preparation see you in the next lecture